This video will introduce you to data entry modes, double coding, and reconciliation in EpiReviewer. For this example, I'm using EpiReviewer Web. Normal data entry is when just one person is applying codes to items and is the automatic data entry mode for coding tools when you import the standard coding tools into EpiReviewer. You can easily see that a coding tool is set to normal data entry mode when there is an image of one person next to it. Normal data entry mode means that any code applied to an item will automatically be marked complete, indicated by a green circle with a tick, and will be seen by anyone in the review. Comparison data entry is when two or more reviewers are coding the same item independently and will then compare their work to identify agreements and disagreements. This is often called double coding or double screening. To change a coding tool from normal to comparison mode, either click on Coding Tools in the Review homepage or expand the green Codes panel and click on Edit Tools. Click on the coding tool that you want to change and click Edit Coding Tool. Click on the red Change button where it says Data Entry Mode and confirm that you want to change it. You can now see that the icon has changed to an image of two people indicating Comparison Mode. Any code applied to an item in Comparison Data Entry Mode can only be seen by the person who applied it until you run a comparison. In EpiReviewer Web, you can go into any item that has been coded in comparison mode and run a live comparison to quickly see what has been coded. Simply go to the item's coding record, click on the coding tool used and click on Live Comparison. This will compare any child codes chosen under that particular coding tool. However, in order to mark items in comparison mode as complete, you must run a comparison report and reconcile any differences. To do this, click on the Collaborate tab and click on Create Comparison. Choose the reviewers to compare and choose the code set. If you want to only view a report for a particular group of references, then you can set this as a filter. Simply expand the codes panel on the right, choose a code and then Set Filter. Then click on Create Comparison. You can find the completed comparison reports by scrolling down to the bottom of the page. Clicking on Run will display a report of how each person has coded the items. However, to actually see the statistics and reconcile the items, click on View. This will show how many documents have been coded by each person and how many documents have been coded by two people together. It will also show you how many agreements and disagreements there are between reviewers. This is particularly useful for simple coding tools such as screening. If you only have two people coding and you have full agreements, click on Complete and Lock. This will automatically assign those items with the codes applied and they will be locked. However, if you have more than two people coding, it's best to go through and reconcile the items manually. To do this, click on Reconcile. The Reconciliation screen lists how the items have been coded by each reviewer. Discuss the coding choices between you and then decide on which code should be applied. Once you have decided, click on Complete. If you make a mistake, you can click on Uncomplete and change it. Now that you have reconciled your items, you can see that the numbers of completed items on the review homepage have changed. You can click on a coding tool and see how many complete and incomplete items there are by user at any time. If you have finished coding the items that you wanted to have two or more people to code, for example, in order to establish consensus, it is important that you change the coding tool back to normal data entry mode. This will ensure that any codes applied to items will automatically be marked as complete. However, before you do this, please ensure that you have reconciled all items screened in comparison mode by running a comparison report first. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to check out our forum, which is located on our website. Or send us an email at episupport 
at ucl.ac.uk.